welcome to another day of Studio 17 Live, the Golden Empire's very first lifestyle show. I'm your host, Ileana Capian. We have another great show uncovering the fun and culture of Kern County, so let's get to it. Studio 17 Live is presented by Dignity Health, Mercy, and Memorial Hospitals. We've got you covered in Kurd, and literacy is critical in providing individuals with access to information. It helps lessen the barriers between race, gender, or even religious inequality. Locally, the Kern County Literacy Council helps transform lives through literacy with free tutoring services for local residents. Here today to tell us a little bit more about the mission and the upcoming events of the Kern Literacy Council is Executive Director Laura Lawler. Uh, thank, Wolf, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Awesome. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what's new for the Kern Literacy Council in 2022? Yes, so I'm happy to report that Kern Literacy Council post-pandemic or going as close to post-pandemic as we can right. is thriving. Uh, we are actually a full hybrid program right now. So um, uh, people can come in person or via Zoom. And we provide small group and one-to-one -one tutoring for adults primarily. And we like to focus on parents especially so that we right. get the dual generation thing. Very smart. And, um, and we are always looking for tutors, and at this point we are looking for bilingual tutors in Spanish. Amazing. There's that chance. Okay, so there's that need so, right now. Yes, yes. And, and it's only two or three hours a week, okay. and you have your choice of being an in-person tutor or being via Zoom. That's awesome. So it's easy peasy. You can volunteer for two, hour, two to three hours a week, and it's a good way to kind of get involved yes. in the community. And, and it can be adult out. basic education, English as a second language. We do citizenship. Uh, test prep it's hard to say yes. but that's we're have on a real role with that in the pandemic that's and also GED test prep where we've also had success in spite of um, you know having to shut down and reopen and yeah. be all over the place no and I love that and I love so. the fact that you said you know you're focusing on you know the dual um, what is it like dual, dual generations. generations getting them yes. both to be in school so you know Parents can be in school while their students are also in school, exactly. and it's important to have that example. Now, I hear that April is also a very big month for Kern Literacy Council. What's going on? Yes, so I'm so happy to be here at this time because as of April 1st, we are launching uh, Read for Life Month. And we're starting it out, well, we'll be ending it up with our Read for Life celebration, which was a tradition pre-pandemic, but bringing it back after two years. And our honorees are going to be Michael and Nancy Turnipseed. Wow. So tell me a little bit more about Read for Life Month. So Read for Life, we're going to kick it off with a um, full-page ad in Kern County Family Magazine, who we've been partnering with over the year. And we just want to share how important it is, literally, to read for life. Read right. to your babies from the time they're born. Right. And make sure you keep reading to them till they go to school. And then keep reading because that third grade milestone, your kids need to be reading on grade level by third grade or that's bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they go from learning to read to reading to learn. Right. And so then can fall behind quickly if they don't. Absolutely. But with, with reading per se, um, we also know how important it is for mental health, like for teenagers, because they can, they can see they're not alone. Mm -hmm. They see themselves mm -hmm. in the books. And then literally we want to go all the way through the end of life because seniors who have been reading, they could be read too, they can listen to books, and they can also obviously still still read too. Right, no, it's a great way to <laughs> kind of keep exercising your brain too. Exactly, exactly. And so to celebrate that, we are hoping that um, your viewers may might send us uh, pictures or videos of themselves reading. And okay. so that could go through our um, through our website or through an email directly to me, L Wolf with an E at the end at Current Literacy. <laughs> And always, I like to tell people that to find us anytime, just ask your smartphone. Yeah, right? That's the easiest yes. way to do it. Yes, I do it that way myself. Now, how can people get involved with uh, this month? Yeah, so that's what I was saying. So just if, if we can make sure you read. So right. just, just do it, as they say. Just, yes, just do it. <laughs> Pick up a book and read. Exactly. And then shoot us a picture so that we can share it. Um, it was kind of exciting. My... Uh, uh, son, his son, just read his first book and they got a good video of it. So, unbeknownst to them that it was going to be Read for Life. But oh my I'll goodness. be using that one. That's right. So. And I know you have a huge thank you to all of the tutors and, and teachers that you've had along yes. the program. So, yes. thank you to all of them. And just yes, a, a tutors call. and donors, just everyone pulling us through pandemic. Well, thank you for everything you're doing. Well, I appreciate you. it. And just a quick reminder, they need volunteers. So, go ahead and sign up. Thank you so much for thank being here today. Thank you so much. Of course.